Just one change from that 1-1 draw against DC United, and it's a forced change with Alan Aragoni being suspended due to yellow card accumulation. Oscar Pereja told us this week, trying a few different things, a few different options, trying to fight the right combination. Should it get to that point? Again, Tyler Terrence along with Kinder D. St. Albany, glad to have you with us here on MLS Season Pass as we invite you to turn off the world and turn on the game. Three points in the Eastern Conference up for grabs. And right off the bat, Orlando City in their white kits looking a little dangerous in the opening stages. And Kendra, both of these teams struggling out of the gates here. And I think we're past the point of the season. Find a way. They felt good about their poor performance against DC United getting the draw on the road. And here's ball over the top to Barlow. Here's Tom Barlow. Couldn't quite get it under his spell. Still with it. Hugo Kuypers lays it off for Kellen Acosta. Familiar pattern that we saw in that goal against DC United and finally cleared away by Pedro Galese. And as for Orlando City, fortunately for them, they found success on the road. More to a player like Helen Acosta who got that goal in the last match. Muriel back for Angulo. Great little ball. Played all the way across. Chance here. Facundo Torres couldn't get it out from underneath his feet. Give it away though. Torres taking off the ball. Angulo trying to get it through. Mauricio Pineda blocked it. Still can't be cleared. And it trickles in. Faku Torres will claim it, but that is an absolute disaster at the back from Chicago. Orlando stayed with it the entire way. You cannot allow that easy give and go on the right-hand side, but that's right here. That should have been the first goal, right there. You see him kind of lift his head up, a little frustration, but he stays with it. It goes off Chicago Fire players two, three times right there, and then just trickles in past the fingertips of Chris Brady as nobody can get it out. Very unlucky for the Chicago Fire. Orlando City will take goals any way they can get them as they struggle to score on the season. Throwing towards Gutierrez, who takes it on the first time. Barlow on the turn. And Galese makes the save, despite the flag going up on the far side from the assistant referee, Callie Smith. But always a steady presence along the back line as Gutierrez chops this one along for Kuypers. Couldn't get his feet right. Might get a second crack at it, and he pulls it wide. Well, it was a more than fortuitous bounce for the Belgian team. Referee playing the advantage. Acosta surveying. Gutierrez back to his feet. Trying to let it go from about 30 yards away. And Nico Ladero got a toe to it. And it just trickles kindly into the hands of Pedro Galese. I've thought about it. <laughs> Kuypers. Excellent ball for Arno Suke. I mean, I know you've got some draws in there. And to be fair, Orlando City haven't strung together back-to-back -back wins yet on the season. Federico Navarro. Galese makes the save. It was deemed a clean challenge from Federico Navarro. Facu Torres with the lone goal thus far. Plenty to talk about during the halftime report, but Kinder D. St. Aubin, outside of that call, your thoughts on the first half? Look, Orlando City scores a goal that was completely awkward and bounced around and just... And right now, Orlando City very much in the driver's seat against the Chicago group that has only scored 14 goals so far this season. With Arujo and Gulo, Ladero just laying the ball perfectly into the pit, into the feet of Muriel, Ojeda up top. So maybe defensively a little bit more aware of what's coming at you. But from an attacking perspective, I think Chicago Fire can feel good. Just like, hey, how was your dinner? <laughs> what are you doing after the game? Do you like my hair? Speaking of hair, what do you think of Pooch? I heard it's a cool. choice. Yeah, okay. It's a choice. And Federico Navarro is going to go into the book. Well, with all the fouls he had in the first half. And Muriel is found by Carlos Terran, who's not exactly... Torres had it poked away by Kellen Acosta. Nico Lodero, though, finding Ojeda. And that wasn't a bad looking ball for Luis Muriel. Angulo trying to track it down, and Suke going to ground. Watch closely by Gutierrez. He stayed with the runner this time. Commits a foul, though. He does everything right. He forces him backwards. He tracks the runner. He's got him going away from goal. And then sliding tackle through his heels. Just to be Ramiro Enrique for Orlando City, who's going to come on. Ali Selassie. Oh, good ball. Threaded through, Suke. Hugo Kuypers! 
One, one. A much needed goal for Chicago for a multitude of reasons. Pedro Galese is beat. And we've got ourselves a game with 20 minutes remaining. It's the split ball to find the feet of Highland Selassie. How about the touch on that pass? Outside of the right foot, on the wrong side of the defender, right into the path of the runner. Suke, a Kuiper's one-time finish under Galese's arm to give us 1-1 here late in the game. That was a really And now Numbers getting back behind the ball. This one angled towards Kutsius. Jonathan Dean thought about it. Now we'll have a go. And that one flies wide of the net of Pedro Galese. Herbers misses on the challenge. Angulo, Facu Torres. Lost it in. Muriel knocks it down, and Chris Brady able to make the save. Knocked into the path of Marin Hali Selassie, who's been lively since coming on. Gutierrez. Looking for the curling effort. Ramiro Enrique splits Pineda and Herbers. Orlando City cooking now. It's Enrique and it's just wide. Orlando City, particularly after the loss at home, would certainly take a point on the road against Chicago, even if they've been one of the more disappointing sides that Major League Soccer has had to offer. And Jonathan Dean goes into the book. And now those substitutions are going to come on for Oscar Pareja. First, Kyle Smith. Look at the watch from Malik Badawi. And that's going to do it. Full time here at Soldier Field. The Chicago Fire continue their winless ways. No wins in their last nine for Frankie Klopas. Meanwhile, Orlando City pick up a point on the road.